shit. Put that cup down. I'm about to put it on. I'm gonna start with some. I'm gonna start with some Jeezy, man. Yeah. That, that's great for the sound. All right, man. Welcome to Prime Time Live, man. We're here with Royal Dynasty, my special guest. You know what I'm saying? Somebody stole him for him. We ain't gonna say no name. Did nobody steal you know what I'm me? Saying? <laughs> it's first come, first serve. Shit, man. Them folks, them folks didn't know nothing about that shit until I thought about it. But okay. <laughs> but it's not. It's all those talking shit, man. Well, this is a segment I got called Hustlers One on One. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my part of my primetime live sports show. So, man, me in here, Jamaica, let me pay some bills first. Shout out to Global Show. Ah, Global Soul. Shout out to that boy Jeff, man. I know he's feeling sad about no heat. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're down too old. You feel me? It's real <laughs> ugly out here, man. Um, and I know the twins are very vivid about the Lakers goddamn whooping ass. And so you know, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to Wayne Water. Shout out for Dynasty pulling up. Shout out to my boy Jason. My boy Jason Mill, all the way from Good Cobb County. You feel me? Sage Ridge, right? <laughs> Um, so, you know, I just want to um, interview about, like, your hustle. I like it. Okay. I just want you to tell me a little bit about what you do, you know, and how it started. Um, and when you say as far as in my hustle, you were talking about, like, with what I did with the radio station, mm. everything I do in the community. Mm. All of that. All of that. All, All right. That. So, um, All of that. Yeah, so like he said, my name is Royal Dynasty. Um, a lot of people know me formerly on Power 107.1. I was doing, I started out doing mornings, um, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. And my name then was Mama D. Love went oh. to Atlanta, came back, rebranded myself as mm. Royal Dynasty. And Dynasty is my real name, not my stripper name. And, um... <laughs> oh. oh. Right. Oh. <laughs> So, okay, babe, Royal Dynasty started doing um, middays, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And so, yeah, um, um, I do a lot in the community. Um, shout out to my girl, Breonna Rozier. We have a group called Willing Women Empowerment. Oh. Basically, it's a um, nonprofit organization where, again, we just do a lot with the women in the community of Middle Georgia. So, whether it comes to, like, doing cleanup or we're ha hosting some type of women's expo, you mm. know, whatever it is to really get out there in the community, then that's what we're trying to do, you know? Okay, so what are you doing with these women? You're empower How are you empowering them? That's So the thing is basically to work together as women. You know, I feel like a lot of times, especially when it comes to, like, social media or mm. reality TV, you see women on there, fake bodies, or, you know, they out here scamming. I'm... Some yeah. of us out here trying to be city girls, and oh, yeah. you know they we'll don't want no, they don't want no job. Um, they want just somebody to pay some bills. But again, you know it's just us trying to motivate our ladies out there. Let them know we're working together. You right. know, as a team, we're here to uplift, motivate each other, encourage one another. Just like hey, sis, it's, it's a lot of room out here at this table to eat. We right, got right. no competition with each other. Like you know, I'm, I'm my sister's keeper. So mm. a lot of women out Ooh. here going through different things that we don't know. Right now is Domestic Violence Month as well as um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So it's a lot of That's women powerful. out here who may be going through some different things. And we're just here to, again, be our sister's keeper, uplift, motivate, encourage, and say, hey, sis, keep going. We got, we got power. Okay. And we got to use it. Man, that's powerful, man. That's, I didn't even know who had that going on. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm a strong person. I support, like, women that have been battered and all that stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I know, like, I've, I've been around women that have had those type of situations, and it's kind of hard for them to get over it. You know what I'm right, saying? You know what right, right. And it kind of, and you can see it kind of bleeds into their next relationship. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The person, could, the next person could be the best person from. Right. But they looking at, like, oh, he may, you know what I'm saying? He may flip the script on me if one day. If you haven't internally healed, then sometimes yeah. it can bleed into that next relationship. Hurt people hurt people. Hurt people? Ooh. And if you hurt... Be like 600. <laughs> That's why I saw our partners, he say that. He say that in the rap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's true. It's real yeah, It is. It is. It's real. Hurt people hurt people. And, you yeah. know, sometimes you may not know that you hurt to yeah. get in a situation with somebody. And then yeah. you end up losing them. And you yeah. like, dang, I feel like I did everything I could for this relationship. But you, if you internally don't see... The issues yeah. that need to be fixed on that's one thing i always pray and ask god to fill my empty voice whatever mm. voice i got on the inside of me mm. i need i want to be filled you know because just because i don't want to go into a relationship where um my my voice my heart and stuff things are empty and you know i can't give my 
whole my whole self to a person. So. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, everybody, I just want to speak, man. I want to tell y'all, uh, <laughs> I just feel grateful. Thank God for the life of my mom, my dad, everybody. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so. So it come. So I, my my good friend Dre wanted to drop that on me and let me know about that. You know feel <laughs> me? Man, y'all were messing up my interviews, man. But look, look, y'all. Hey, so shout out to the Lakers, man. They are too old, man. Jeff, I, I got you. Just pull up some more. You say shout out to the Lakers one more time. Anthony <laughs> Day for MVP. I'm sorry. All right, what's your uh, All right, so so like so then okay, so I like that, man. I love that. Um because you know I've seen like like I said I've seen like I knew women that said to me like, "Oh, it's okay for my boyfriend to hit me." I hit him back. I'm like, no. "What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? That shit is that shit is not good. Yeah. It's not good at all. Uh, it's 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 toxic. It's unhealthy right. for both you and the other person. Mm-hmm. Like, now nah, you you hit me. Yo, so, it's a wrap. So, uh, D, like, so, that is, so let me ask you this then. So, like, I'm gonna tell you about how me and you met. Remember that? I, you know what? Well, we, we, had, had, well, we had niche. We was at niche. Okay. Look, <laughs> man, I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was looking like goddamn the sauce in that motherfucker. What? Had this long you was at the bar, right? I was, at, I, I, we was, I was by the bar, and okay. then I was like, shit, I wanna get a hookah, but shit. Oh, yeah. I ain't know who the fuck, you feel me? I was like, okay, so. I was like, okay, so damn, what I'ma put the hookah at? and like anybody wanna smoke hookah with me, cop? I was in that bit by myself, so I ain't like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm very man, me and strangers is cool to me because I can talk, you feel me? I know how to project myself. So I ran into you, I had this, I mean I had this long ass goddamn coat on. Okay. I had that goddamn R.I.P. coat on. That bit looked nah, like, not I look like I was but I look like goddamn Crip keeper in that bit, black <laughs> on black, Kanye boots on and shit going on. I was like, man, boy, little gold on. I thought I was feeling I thought, Perry, finish telling the story. All right, so I met her that <laughs> night. So I ain't know. So that night. Yeah, push, push in, bro. Okay, so look. I got, I got, a, I got a pocket. My boy got his overall on. Y'all don't see him, though. Nike overall. It Nike. One, it's one of them swish ones. You know, when you were little, you had that little swish on. Oh. <laughs> Yo, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm out, here like, I'm out here like, man, I go to work. You feel me? <laughs> All right, so basically. I met her and I was like, me and her shut a hookah and your sister, right? Mm-hmm. And so like, we talked, I was like, hey, you know, I, I do this, I do that, woo, 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 woo. And she was like, oh, well shit, I do this, did it, and I was like, all right, well shit, we got links on time, woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Oh, how it going, you know what I'm saying? We gotta get it. So, and then the next time I seen her, I was like, hey, you remember me, woo, woo, She was like. Right, no, right. It took me a long time to bad. Really, look, <laughs> really I like, bro, name. I was just like. Oh, his face. I was like, well, okay, next time I holler at you again, we'll talk about that again, we'll try again. And so, like, you know, I'm, I'm very, I don't care like stuff like that. That shit don't bother me. Well, I'm, I'm very, bad. I'm very like forward. Keep yeah. moving, keep moving. And you was like, the next time you was like, I'm gonna remember your shit. Why did? And the next time you was like, I right, bet I know who you are. Nah, nigga, so I'm like, shit. We, but I ain't remember your name. You had to tell me again. I was like, his name is so simple. Why can't I remember Perry? I mean, it's like. The but same. I knew your face though. That's I good. That's how face. I am. I knew Look, your face. FESU, baby. That's how I like faces. Faces. Somebody said they graduated me. I was like. I don't know you. Where you graduated from? D Fort Valley State University. Oh, HBCU. Well, you still HBCU. You talking about some D Fort Valley, but it's D Savannah State. But you, oh, it's still, oh, it's still oh, HBCU. Oh, oh, oh y'all HBCU. getting off? Oh, <laughs> period. Oh, oh. Hey, you. <laughs> oh shit! All right, so shit. You know, both of those are black. Historically black college, yes. you know what I'm saying? So that's why I said it's still some love. But you know, I think we're like rated the number one HBCU like in Georgia. Y'all, so, y'all like, mass communication uh, department wasn't accredited. I know. Oh, okay. I know. Come on. Trust me, I know. <laughs> they want me to come down there and teach. I'm straight. Oh, okay. Shout out to Carly Shaboos. Okay, shout out to Miss Booz. Yes, I love Carly You know, Shaboos. I'm gonna no shout my people out, god damn it. We right. Burdell. <laughs> y'all talking about Burdell. Burdell. Yo, over there on Four Hill, y'all don't know about that. You crazy. <laughs> so like, you know, okay. So, um, anything else new you got going working? You know what I'm saying? I want you to come back and co-host with me like later today for an artist. If you cool with that. All right, I'm gonna be here. I'm here supporting. I mean, I need, I need, I may need you like two more times. Two more times. Not like today, but like you know what I'm saying. Okay, I mean, like, just hit me up, you know. Set. So anything else you got going on? You hustling? You told me about the radio. So like, 
anything in the works or the future you thinking about doing because you know i got a cool camera right there so like you know what i'm saying <laughs> come up with the sauce he's right there um well i am working on some things right now just kind of low-key with a lot of stuff right. um just kind of just fell behind the scenes just right. to try to um gather myself back yeah. up because you know after my situation and everything that kind of happened it was like all right i need to go back to the drawing board try to get myself together get my mind mm -hmm. back right you know and just figure out what is it that god really want me to do you uh, know so right absolutely um so with that being said um so like we have a lot of uh media opportunities around here like you should got that you know chip chime in with us i know i, I know you did the bank dot radio I did. I did Bank Dot Radio with yeah. um, Tiffany Tillman. Shout out to my girl. And she's and a Delta. I love Tiffany. She's amazing. She actually came on my show when I was on the radio and talked about her um, organization right now. Um, she has a open space, so if people want to go there, you know, for different events and things yeah. like that, she she's open to it. So, again, shout out to Tiffany. And who else? And shout out to my boys. Like I said, DJ Partner V, your partner, my partner, everybody partner. Partner yes, with partner. And, um, Tevin. So they Bro. had me on their show, a spade to spade podcast. And so now I'm here. So. Stole my. I love y'all, boy. Y'all stole that shit from me, bro. <laughs> them my niggas, though. Don't do them. Them my niggas, though. But see, like, man, listen, like, you know, it's a deeper story to that, man. Like, really, like, shout out to uh, my boy Sam. Sam's really, like, pushed spearhead him to doing it because, like, you know, you know, I, I be, I was just ad living in the background. I was just like, man, because, like, right. I was, like, on some real, like, Pot and V, I never forget, like, when I first started my brand, Pot and V was like, bro, I'm down for everything you want to do, bro. He was like, bro, we go way back, bro, and we have, we, me and you both have the sense of fashion. Right. So it's nothing like we can't conquer. Yeah. So I was just like, well, shit, you know, I missed it with him then, because I, I just want, I went, hmm, I feel like I had to keep it to myself and just keep pushing forward. Mm -hmm. You know, cause everybody had their own lane. Right. So I feel like with this, I feel like, you know, he's already on the radio. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well shit, you might well you might well jump in spearheaded too, man, because you 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 ain't an ugly person. No homo. <laughs> somebody they'll look at you on the videos, you feel right. me? And, they, and they'll listen to you cause they're already on the radio. Right. So you gotta play it like that. You may need to come on over to the goddamn podcast world. Hey man, when you I tell you I'm working on some stuff, give it some time. You know give it some you time. Smell me. You know when I pop out. You know what it is. Man, as long as I'm going to get, man, I just want to be in the background. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I'll be a fly on the wall. It's cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, So, like, my next thing. So, you say, when you graduate from Savannah State? I graduated fall 2014. Oh, same yeah. here. I'm a 14. Yeah. 14. Time something. really rolling by fast. What? So, like, it's no homecoming for a lot of us this year. So, I don't I know what to do right? with myself. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, like, I want to go down there and get fucked up, you know what I'm saying? But that's not going to happen, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to be able to go to the Valley, you know what I'm saying? Get yeah. messed up, no after parties, you know what I'm saying? I, no. But I feel like maybe, you know, it is still, since outside is kind of open, mm -hmm. you know, maybe even if it was we did something at like a club or something yeah. like that, you know, mass required, that type thing, mm -hmm. it might be a little weird because even though they say mass required, niggas really ain't wearing no mask. Nah, cause <laughs> I got my mask, you know what I'm saying? I, I have mine too, for real, for real. In a car and I but, feel so you know, ashamed. it's just like, I... Yeah. Yeah, man. Out here living life on the edge. Yeah, you see the president <laughs> got that thing too. Yeah. That has been that has been the topic of discussion. It's just like, all right, but how long has he had this? He's been had it, man. That man Faye been um, real for so long. <laughs> right, I'm like, I know he was on the debate with the Kobe. Right, like you had the debate sick. Put, trying, to, trying to put Joe Biden at risk. Yeah, cut, keep cutting this man off, man. Can't nobody get a valid point off on you because you want to uh, ask your son. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. I, hey, man, we make it. Hey, man, let's calm down on that, man, because these folks may come follow her home. Hey. You feel me? Let's get off them folks. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dynasty, tell them where they can find you. Yeah, so you can follow me on my Instagram at I am Royal Dynasty. I do have a Facebook, but I de at deactivated it right now just because it's a lot of stuff happening on Facebook, and I'm like, I'm going through my own personal mm. shit. I don't have time to be trying to see nobody else stuff. So yeah, yeah, you can just mainly follow me on Instagram. Again, it's I am Royal Dynasty, and that's D Y N A S T I E underscore. Okay, so you can find me at Dangerous Paradise. 
Prime Time on IG. Dangerous Parent. Dangerous the Dun on IG too. Perry Clark on Facebook. Um, Not to li- your full name. You go for me? Perry Clark, man. It sounds <laughs> like royal. You feel me? Like it sounds like a king. Okay. If I tell you, if I say the okay. whole thing out, you be like, what the fuck? Okay. What's the whole thing then? Perry Deontay Clark the third. Oh, okay. Yeah. King. You said it sound like a king? Yeah. Oh, I, I thought you were going to say something like Aloysius or Lucius or something. <laughs> Aloysius. <laughs> Lu- Lucius. 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 T- <laughs> that sound like a that sound like a light skinned person. You know that sound like a light skinned person. That sound like a light skinned person. <laughs> but um, y'all click the like in the on um, the description, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. We did fifteen thousand. I mean fifteen k on this last month on YouTube. So we moving. You feel me? That's what we're trying to get this shit monetized so we can get a check, and I'm gonna spread the check out. And all y'all motherfuckers in here with me, so <laughs> I ain't stingy. But uh, y'all keep messing with on um, Prime Time Live, man. Baby, let's get it.